What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 93 Moments That's I is the person we will be reviewing today. But I want to say a big thank you to my guy No Look Assist for obviously allowing him to hop onto his account and do this review. Please hit him up with a follow on Twitter, the link will be in the description. But let's get straight into it. 84 pace, 75 dribbling, 92 defending, 92 physical and 75 passing. Looks like an outrageous CDM. Now 6 foot 1, I tend to go 6 foot 2 minimum but at the same time 6 foot 1, it's not going to not going to be that big of an issue now high high i prefer medium high but if you put stay back or attacking on him he will act kind of act like a medium high in a way now he's got two star skill moves but that's not going to matter you shouldn't be doing skill moves with your midfield he's got a three star weak foot which means he's going to be able to cut onto that left foot and obviously pass with it now he is on a anchor chemistry style he's obviously on 10 chem 87 acceleration 90 sprint speed a super super fast player for a cdm Jesus Christ, and especially he's got 99 aggression as well. That's even going to be increased by a lot, and it's going to allow him to obviously win more 50-50s. Now, shooting-wise, he's not the greatest shooter, but I'll read it out anyway. 68, 68 attacker positioning, 70 finishing, 74 shot power, 60 long shots, 51 volleys, 55 penalties. I'll tell you what, if it comes to him inside the box, and God knows why he would be inside the box, if it does bounce to him, I'll give it a go. Why not? But I'm not going to guarantee it's going to go in. Now, he's got 84 vision, 88 short passing, 80 long passing, and 65 curve. Now, the biggest bad, like the biggest downgrade of this card is clearly that long passing. For a CDM to not do these like cheeky over the top through balls, it's a bit going to be a bit of a struggle. Now, is he going to be able to do it? That's, that's why I don't know. We're here to check, obviously. But at the same time, the short passing, the little tick attacker play should be beautiful in this card. Now, another downgrade of this card is 60 agility. 57 balance we all know how bad that is especially in a cdm role so they say he's clearly going to be one of those players that is going to tackle the ball and obviously be calm and composed on it and just pass it away the way he's facing obviously try not to turn over this guy 95 reactions 83 dri uh, ball control 72 dribbling and 93 composure 99 interceptions 96 heading accuracy 99 defensive awareness 99 standing tackle and 98 sliding tackle now interceptions is going to be beautiful he's got that six foot one reach to him so he should be intercepting the ball fairly easily defensive awareness is going to be at the right place at the right time standing tackle should be a nice and solid standing tackle getting the ball i would say nine times out of ten and the slide tackle we don't get a lot of occasions to do a slide tackle but if if it, you know if one comes obviously i'll do it now he's got 94 jumping which means he's going to be out headering i would say six foot three and below which is always a nice sight to see 85 stamina mini is going to last throughout the whole game 99 strength that is something you don't see on tdms a lot i tell you that now he's going to be bullying players left right and center no attacker should be winning a shoulder to shoulder uh, fight with him now he's got 99 aggression as well as i said at the start the pace will be increased but the 50 50s will be increased as well now, today I have linked him up with Neymar, Mane, Mendy, and Ramos. I've also got the likes of Dolg Leash, Saint Maximum, and Team Leo Kante in the team. Now, Desa will be, be play will be playing in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that CDM role. But I also want to try him in that centre mid role because he's got a high high, so why not? So we'll be trying him in a 4-4-2, 4-4-2 as well. But let's get straight into these games. All right, we can clearly see he's already getting into the action. I was just a minute ago waiting to see what this guy did. Oh, come on. Look at that little, sh you know, the little shield off. Using his strength to not lose the ball there. But the first thing you always do at the start is just see how agile someone really is. Oh, yeah. Do you know what he feels like? He feels like a, a gold Suzuko, and that is something I don't like. Oh, okay. I can already tell he is super, super fast in that midfield. And just reading that passing lane there was unbelievable. But it was all down to his pace there. To say going forward now. Using that pace, just passes to Neymar. Little drag back. Unbelievable turn. Can we get a finish? I took that shot way too early. But you kind of can see Desai there giving me a passing option. Running forward with him. He looks actually pretty decent. He uses a lot of his pace though when running forward. Once again, an amazing touch as well. Jesus Christ, that was like an acceleration touch, and that is very, very nice to see. Complete switch of play. It has to be literally a pinpoint perfect pass, and it really is. Unbelievable pass from Desai. Little dog leash, same maximum touch, finish. All starting from Desai's pass, all the way over to Mane. What a pass it was. 
There you go, straight on to that beautiful sliding tackle from Dasei. But you kind of can see he's from point A to point B in literally a split second. And that is something you love to see from your CDMs. Nice, that was a really good fake shot and just beautiful shielding from Dasei there. Little fake shot, get the angle to pass the ball, back to Mane, and just like that, we're away. That's it, Desai is giving me the option again though. Little pass to Kante, back to Desai. Just fake it into the side. Come on, go for the shot. Okay, okay, relax. I saw that shot power. I saw the accuracy behind that. That's an unbelievable finish and that is something I was not expecting. I didn't even expect to score with him, let alone have a beautiful finish like that. Oh my god. Now, I did not expect that touch from Desai. I was just waiting to see if he actually won it back. But Jesus Christ, one thing I can tell you, don't hold RT when moving towards the ball with Desai because that ball is going to go nowhere near your feet. Look at that. If that doesn't show you how fast Desai is at defending, moving left to right, if you do get sold, his recovery like is ridiculous. And that is something that makes him a great CDM. Nice, really good interception there. Very, very bad turning once again. As I said, he's more of one of those players that is going to be touching the ball, then instantly passing the way he's facing rather than touch and turn because he really, really can't do it. He doesn't feel great on the ball. That has to be a perfect pass. Oh my God. Under pressure from the opponent, but at the same time, just waiting Oh, come on. That should have been a goal as well. But he was under pressure from his opponent, but I was waiting for the perfect time to do the over the top. Just waiting for, I think he was Mane down the wing. Just waiting for him to kind of take over his player, which is exactly what he did. And what a ball it was from Desai. Come on now. If you don't get a better ball than that, I understand my opponent is not playing, but he had no chance of getting to that anyway. And that is a beautiful pass from Desai. That's a beautiful standing tackle from him, though. He was at the right place at the right time. I feel like it was a bit fortunate, obviously, because the guy kind of low-key ran into him, though. They say he's playing very high up right now. Even though he's on stay back while attacking, you can kind of see where he's positioned. And to think that I thought stay back while attacking would actually help that high high, it clearly doesn't. Play that over the top through ball. I love his long passing. It is ridiculous how perfect it is. The amount of power and the amount of accuracy behind it is so nice. There you go. Look at that pace. He was literally by the person passing. And by the time the person passed the ball, he was already into the next person that received it. And that is ridiculous. They say with the complete switch with an over the top comma now. This guy does it all day of the week. They say on the edge though. Do drag back, turn once again, go for the shot. Oh, I wanted it to put it onto his stronger foot, obviously, because that freestyle weak foot when shooting, it's not going to be great. But at the same time, it was amazing positioning from him, but not the greatest shot. Nice, I just waited for the perfect moment there, then obviously went in, striked, and that's how he obviously comes out with the ball. Just moving forward with him right now because no one really expects me to run forward with Desai because most people know about his agility and balance, which kind of makes him unpredictable at times. Desai moving forward now. Once again, taking a pretty decent touch this time. Can I get it to Dalglish? Beautiful pass to Dalglish. Not a lot of people can do that little pass because it looks simple, but it's really not because you kind of have to curve it away from your opponent. Just waiting for the perfect moment. There you go. Once again, Desai in the right place at the right time. Going in with a very strong standing tackle. And look at his high high right now. Unbelievable touch to be fair to him. He's going forward. Little ball roll. Shielding off the ball. Kind of waiting for the perfect moment there. Little pass to Neymar. Can I get a finish? Super unfortunate. But going forward with Desai, that's what you kind of have to do. You're going to have to obviously shield off the ball. Wait for the perfect moment. And look at that. That's against that uh, shapeshifter card, Furlan Mendy. And Desai showing the pure dominant strength. Nice. Once again, I don't know what role Desai is playing in right now because he is playing super, super high up. Even though I have got him in a CDM position with stay back while attacking. But he's clearly not doing that. And he's on the edge of the box for a finesse here. That was a pretty decent finesse, to be fair. Looking at his shooting stats, you'll never say that he will do a finesse like this. 
Nice, just kind of pressuring my play my opponent into a mistake there with Desai because I know if I go too far up with him, he, he can recover really, really fast and go instantly back down. Nice, just reading the passing lane there, shielding off Neymar. No chance Neymar gets the ball off him. Beautiful passing plays. Go back to him. I thought I'm going to go back to Conte. Then I'm going to go for a shot. Can I do a drag back? Ah, I couldn't get the great uh, the greatest angle because he didn't really shift the ball properly there. So it kind of didn't give me a good angle to get the shot off. Oh my god. That's with the weaker foot as well. The freestyle weak foot. And he can do that. I'm lost for words. I'm literally just joking around with Desai right now because I can literally do anything I want with him. So it is time to review him and let me say I in really, really enjoyed using this card because it's a complete defensive CDM and that is one thing I love from a CDM. If they can't go forward as much, that's not that big of an issue for me. If as long as they can defend perfectly... That's what I love. Now, six foot one, he's got that reach to intercept the ball, and he clearly showed it. Intercepting the ball left, right, and center. High, high. I didn't really like that a lot because he was going really high up when I had to, had him on stay back while attacking. But that was in only certain occasions. But you're going to have to be careful with that when obviously using this card. Now, the two star skill moves wasn't an issue for me at, at all. The three star weak foot, though, unbelievable. The pass with the left, the pass with the right. Now, uh, pace wise super super fast and i believe that 99 aggression did obviously help it shooting wise he actually got decent animations now the one thing did that didn't allow me to score i think it was two goals with him because i only scored one one of him was because his agility wasn't the greatest so he didn't shift the ball to the side that i wanted at like on the pace i kind of wanted it too and it kind of screwed up the chance but other than that, shooting is not actually that bad. And I honestly thought it was going to be terrible. Now, passing-wise, the short passing, incredible. The link-up play, the give-and-goes, the one-twos. And I must say, the long passing is the biggest thing that I thought was going to be crap about this card. But it's literally one of the best things about this card. He can do it from one side of the pitch completely to the other. I have no idea where they're getting 80 long passing from, honestly. Because what he was doing on that pitch was out of this world now as i said the agility and balance wasn't the greatest so i suggest being one of those players where you're gonna have to touch the ball pass instantly away i was trying to experiment with him just to you know just kind of show you guys that you shouldn't be running with him now the ball control the composure is what i love about him when going forward you can kind of shield off any player you want and that is so so effective waiting for your waiting for your teammates to make the uh, the perfect run so you can just lay them off real quick interceptions unbelievable defensive awareness at the right place at the right time man marking cutting the passing lanes incredible standing tackle i would say this guy actually wins the ball 10 times out of 10 and that is i think that's the first ever time i've actually said that because Honest to God, this guy is a disgusting defender. Uh, uh, slide tackling wise as well, I, slide, I think I had two slide tackle uh, occasions where both of them, he actually won the ball. Now, I was expecting him to win the ball, but I wasn't expecting him to get the occasion. The jumping, incredible. One thing I did notice though, I think he lost the ball to, I think it was Socrates, the Brazilian legend that is a Kony Akam. I think the people people call him the doctor or something like that. But at the same time, I think, I believe he is six foot four. And as I said, six foot three and below, they say he should be winning headers over all of them. Stamina lasted throughout the whole 90 minutes, and that is something you'd love to see. Strength, incredible. This guy was bodying players left, right, and center. Like he would they like there was no tomorrow. As I said, the aggression made him faster and win more 50-50s, which I clearly saw. Now I have to give this card a rating out of 10. And I can't give him anything below 10 out of 10. Honest to God. If this guy had agility and balance. This guy would be the best CDM in this game. But because he can't dribble or go much, uh, you know, attacking wise, there's the likes of Hullet and stuff. They're obviously better. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.